hello guys welcome to AutoCAD 2016 video tutorials in this video I will explain you how to enter the coordinates in AutoCAD 2016 so I have already opened my file AutoCAD file here you go so there are basically three ways to enter coordinates first one is absolute co uh, absolute coordinates way the second one is relative coordinates the third one is polar coordinates so coming to absolute coordinates um, in absolute coordinates uh, we have origin universal coordinate origin or you can also call as WCS UCS so a, po a point is based from the UCS origin and it does not uh, consider any other point as origin it considers this point as origin UCS origin okay so this is the absolute way I will select first command line I select enter okay now in order to enter in an absolute way what I will do is I will select a point first you need to select shift and number 3 which gives ash symbol as you see the ash, ash symbol then you select a coordinate 3 then Q comma and then select 10 okay select enter now so as you see uh, the point has started at 3 comma 10 and then again you will select ash select 5 give comma select 15 and select enter so as you can see uh, now you can select escape as you can see a line has been drawn using absolute coordinates in an absolute coordinate way now moving on to the relative coordinates what we'll do is we'll just delete this in relative coordinates what you'll do is uh, in relative coordinates the origin is based on the previous point which we have selected for example if you have selected a point 3 comma 5 then in order to draw another point 3 comma 5 is assumed to be a origin for the next point so let's begin line line okay mm, select at the rate symbol now you need to select hold on a second okay there's uh, just a second select line now you need to first specify the first point so I'll select the first point as 0 comma 0 now from here I will begin my points so what I'll do is um, let me say now in order to enter in relative coordinates way uh, we need to uh, select the symbol at the rate okay and now I will select 10 then I will select 0 I will give comma and I will select 0 so as you see uh, a line has been drawn and with this uh, with the 10 comma 0 as will be considered as the origin for the next point so I will select at the rate uh, at the rate let me say 0 comma 5 select enter so in this way a line has been extended upside considering this point as origin now again in order to uh, enter the another point this will be considered as origin select at the rate mm. let's select minus 10 comma minus 5 now select escape so as you have seen I have drawn a triangle with relative coordinates in this way you can use relative coordinates with at the rate symbol but in order to use relative coordinates you need to specify the first point using ash symbol 
which I have specified as 0, 0, then I have drawn these points. Now going to the polar coordinates. Mm, let's see. So polar coordinates can be drawn in two ways again. First way is absolute polar coordinates in which 0, comma this will be taken as the origin. Okay. Mm, so in order to enter uh, using absolute way, we'll select first line command, we'll enter line command. Now you need to select as symbol select some distance as 5 for example now you need to give less than symbol select 45 degrees you see uh, the point has been selected at a distance of 5 from origin at an angle of 45 degrees you see it's exactly showing 135 which means the opposite side is 45 degrees okay now you need to enter the another point let's say as mm, 10 less than 180 select enter now you can select escape so as you can see uh, a point has been selected in 180 degrees so you see uh, from here it will be exactly till here 180 degrees okay and the distance is 10 of this of the line is 10 but the distance of this point from here is 5 which I have selected so in this way uh, for the angles uh, this is considered as origin so the first I have selected as 45 degrees from here uh, it was 45 degrees and from here the line the point over here is 180 degrees as you can see this will be this will be 45 degrees and this entire will be 180 degrees so in this way uh, I mean we can enter the polar coordinates with absolute way uh, now going to relative polar coordinates in relative then the previous point has been taken as the origin and the angle will depend on the previous point so let's do an example first select command line select enter now you will select at the red symbol select 5 less than 45 ok so your point has begun from there now considering that this point as the origin the next point will be drawn and the line will be extended in that way so let's say I will draw 30 degrees and it will be shown in this way ok mm. at the rate 5 less than 30 degrees select enter you see as I said just as I said considering this point as origin a point another point at distance of 5 at an angle of 30 degrees is drawn in this way we got our line in this way you can mm, use the coordinates in diagrams most of the times so there are three ways usually absolute coordinates relative coordinates and polar coordinates polar coordinates are further divided into absolute polar coordinates and relative polar coordinates I have shown you all the ways of drawing the coordinates Thank you for watching the video.